Uh, would love to hear advice for new teachers. I get what you're saying, but I have trouble applying it. I'm less consistent and observant about discipline than I want to be. Just feels overwhelming. How do I fix it for next year? If you could answer that for them and then I'll let you go because I know you have yeah. things you have to so, do. You, you want to you look after, first of all, when they come in, start again in September. When they come in in September, you need to have a list of non-negotiables, some rules that you just get them in and you get them sitting down in silence, copying those rules because the copying will create a silent atmosphere. And then the ones who are doing really well, you go around, get a stamper, it's really easy with a stamper. Stamp their work, excellent work, brilliant, I'm really liking that, oh, fantastic over here, stamp, fantastic over there, stamp. And then when they're working with this, you're talking to them at the front because they're busy, then that's how you've got them quiet to begin with. You say, this is exactly what I want, a studious working atmosphere. So you've already created your atmosphere simply by getting them to copy down these rules. And then you're going to go through each rule and make it clear what you want. And the rules should be on small things, like I will always come in and sit immediately down on my chair and take out X and get on with it. Now, when I say X, um, I would suggest you always have an activity that you do immediately when they come in. Because the same with the rules that you're getting them to copy. So obviously, you're not going to want them to copy every lesson. You're doing that the first lesson. But then lessons after that, you give them something at the beginning that is relatively easy, that you know that they can do, because by getting their heads down, it'll focus them. And you don't then have to be standing at the class going, come on, sit down, come on, silence, come on, da, da, da. And then when you've got that, you make sure you move seamlessly to the next activity. Now, in your list of rules, you should have a system of points, merits, demerits, whatever it is. You need to be really clear about what they get merits for and what they get demerits for. And then as soon as somebody does something that merits a demerit, you make sure you give it to them. Demerit over here, name on the board, right? Now, I didn't want to do that. Come on, guys. You don't have to be horrible about it. You don't have to shout at them. You just, oh, come on. I have to put a demerit down. And then you're putting their names on the board so that they can see it. Then you need to make sure that you follow through with the consequence at the end of the day. If it's a detention, for instance, that they come back to you. I would suggest in the beginning, try and involve parents. Ring home and be on them. But don't just ring home for the naughty things. Ring home for the good things, too. Because you're then building a relationship with the parents. So the next time you ring when they're being naughty, the parent thinks, oh, that's that teacher. And I really like him. So if you do all of that consistently, and it does mean a lot of commitment of time, it does. So tell all your friends they're not going to see you from September, not at least for six weeks. <laughs> but once you manage to create a culture of work in your classroom, it will, they, will be, they will remain with you. So it's not an investment forever. Six to eight weeks, if you do that constantly, consistently, and always follow through, you will get the atmosphere that you want. Catherine Burble saying, everyone.